Does inflation worry you when it comes to retirement planning? In my case, I think it's a big concern. And the reason it's a big concern is, well, just last year in 2022, inflation was 8%. If we see an 8% inflation rate ongoing, that is going to significantly impact things moving forward. So when we think about inflation, I like to think of inflation as a hidden tax. So what is inflation? Well, inflation is when they just print more money, right? So right now you're seeing our economy, our government, just they're spending a lot of money right now. Well, inflation is a way that they can cover that up by just printing, 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 printing more money. And so in my mind, inflation is actually what I would consider a hidden tax. It's something that they can do to cover up some of the spending where they don't have to necessarily raise taxes as much, right? It's what we would call something like a stealth tax. A stealth tax is when they make a change not to the tax brackets, but they make changes to other things that are going to impact you and especially retirees on a fixed income. I mean, just take this example to take the historical average inflation is about 3%. If inflation is just average on 3%, if you need $50,000 to live on today, in 20 years, you're going to need nearly double that. You're going to need $100,000 to live on. What the problem is, is that, well, if you're retired and now you have need 50, but you're going to need 100, where is that increase going to come from? Social Security is not going to increase at the rate of inflation forever, in my opinion. So far, they've been giving cost of living adjustments, but it's been a haircut by the inflation rate. Plus, Social Security is in big trouble with all the baby boomers coming into the system. Changes are going to have to be made. One change that I believe is, hey, they're probably not going to be, give as big of increases as they have in the past to keep up with inflation over time. So if we're not getting huge increases with Social Security, if our investments are not growing dramatically because we're starting to take money out, if only 20% of people have a pension and 80% do not, where are we going to get this income from to keep up with retirement. So it is a concern. The good news is we're going to talk about ways to plan for this inflation over time. And one way to plan for is to make sure that we get enough growth in our investments to keep up with this inflation. And, and the way we do that is by structuring our investments in the right way so that we're not taking on too much risk, but we're taking on risk in a smart way. Any money that we need in the next five to 10 years, that's protected and that's hopefully keeping up with inflation. And then any money that we need for 10 plus years, we don't have to really necessarily worry about the market as much in that, that area. And so with that money, we can try to exceed inflation with growth, investing in things like the stock market to try to get more growth long term. And if we can do that, we're going to be able to continue to rise our income over time to be able to live on what we need to. So when it comes to inflation planning, we don't really have too much control over it. So I like to, as a financial planner, not worry about the things we can't have control over, worry about the things we can have control over, like how much we're taking out to live on in retirement, when we decide to retire, how we have our investment structured, how we are doing tax planning. All of those types of things are going to make a difference in your retirement plan moving forward. So don't be worried about inflation. Have a plan against inflation to put you in the best spot.